Hi, my name is Mark Dornan with National Safety Apparel, and today I want to share some insight with you on common challenges that many safety professionals face when trying to select the proper high heat protective gloves, mitts, or hand pads. When it comes to high heat personal protective equipment, the information available for gloves, mitts, and hand pads is often misquoted or misguiding. One of the most common challenges is trying to understand temperature ratings and how they relate to your potential hazards. You may see a glove that's marketed for a high heat rating of 1,000, 1,200, or 1,800 degrees. But what does this really mean? A high heat hazard can be in different forms like molten metal splash, radiant heat, or contact heat from handling a multitude of different objects with different shapes and weights. So when you see or hear a glove is rated for a specific temperature, your first question should be, 1200 degree what? It's important to be conscious of the language used to describe temperature ratings because manufacturers will often base these specific degree ratings on what is marketed as operating or working temperatures. This is the highest temperature prior to thermal degradation or the breakdown of the fabric and in no way indicates the protective performance of the glove itself. Contact heat ratings are what is actually needed to state when the user will begin to experience heat through the glove. The contact heat rating is used to describe the time a user has before the onset of second degree burn occurs as tested in accordance with ASTM F1060. ANSI ISEA 105 provides the availability to rate gloves for contact heat up to 600 degrees Fahrenheit or level five. Many of our hand protective products exceed 600 degrees Fahrenheit for contact heat. As a result, we work with an independent third party testing laboratory to develop a higher contact heat level up to a thousand degrees. We call this level six. Radiant heat protection is also important to consider for certain applications to ensure a glove reflects heat back to the source. To conclude, there are three questions that should be asked before purchasing high heat protective gloves. First, what are your potential hazards? This could be molten metal splash, radiant heat, contact heat, and more. Second, do you need aluminized or non-aluminized? This will depend on potential hazards identified in the first question. And third, have you documented hazard temperatures and specific work practices? These can be discovered through a risk assessment and will allow our sales team to work with your distributor of choice to gain the important information to help you find the ideal solution. Once you've answered these questions and identified all potential hazards and PPE applications, you'll be ready to select the appropriate high heat gloves, mitts, or hand pads. For further questions and to get started finding the right thermal PPE for you, contact our sales team.